In this tutorial, we're going to walk you through how to set up canned responses. And canned responses are actually a great way to save time when you're sending some of the same responses to um, PR folks or other bloggers or whoever it might be. You can have a response already set up and you literally click a button and it populates your email with what you want. So in order to set up a canned response, you need to go to your lab section of your mail settings. So first, log into your Gmail account and click the widget here to edit your um, mail settings. And then you're going to go to the labs. What you want to do is scroll down until you see the, the canned responses option and click enable. Ours is already enabled, but you want to make sure that that radio button is selected and then you would go down to the bottom and you would make sure you save your options. So what we want to do now is create a canned response and we will go ahead and just do a test canned response and add whatever language. This is, again is going to be the same content that you're sending on a regular basis. So for this example, I'm just going to keep it short to say test canned response without updates. Then you notice that you now have this option in your email dashboard to, and it's called canned responses. So select the little twisty here and it's going to ask you if you want to insert, save, or delete a canned response. Since this is a brand new canned response, we want to say save new canned response and you can name it whatever you want. In my case, I'm just going to leave it named this for the demonstration, and I'm going to say OK. So I'm going to click Save Now to make sure I save that in my drafts, and then I'll go to Compose an Email and show you how to insert your canned response. So this is going to be Insert Canned Response, and scroll down into the body of your email, and then you can choose canned response, the twisty, and then it asks you if you want to insert a canned response. In this case, I'm just going to insert the test canned response number one. And you'll notice that, voila, it automatically populates the um, content that we want to have in the email body. So that's already done for you. You can just quickly send your email and be done in literally just seconds. I am going to discard this because I don't really want to save it. And I'm going to compose another, I want to show you another example for how you can edit your canned responses. So go back into your draft section where you save that canned response and let's open that canned response. I decided, you know, maybe I want to change some language, maybe I want to add a new link in there, and I'm going to edit the canned response. So I'm going to say edit, edited data for canned response. And then I will go click the canned response twisty again. And in this situation, I want to say save, but I'm going to click on the canned response that I'm editing and I want to override. So click on the name of the canned response you want to edit, and it's going to ask you, do you want to override your current canned response information and yes I do because I want it to change. So now I'm going to just save that to make sure it's saved and then go back to compose the email and then in the body of the email I'm going to select the canned response and I'm going to choose test canned response number one again. Whoops I don't want to save that. Insert the test canned response number one and you can see that the new language is the the updated language that I changed for the test or the test canned response. So in this tutorial you learned how to enable canned responses for your Gmail. You also learned how to set up a canned response, how to send canned responses, and how to edit canned responses. If you have any other questions on canned responses, please see the post that we've written about this on SavvyBlogging.net.